What's good, everybody? My name is Joshua Jericho. We are playing Mobius Final Fantasy. We are in the middle of doing the special event with uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. And right here is a white mage. This is the first time I've seen that. That's kind of cool looking. Anyway, let's go to the next uh, little trap trigger thing. Treantling sighting. Beware wind attacks. Let's see. I cannot defend wind if I am a warrior, so we're going to need to do this as a ranger, I believe. Alright, let's give it a go. Let's see, Earth Strike would not be terrible in this case, because wind will mean that he's weak against Earth. But you already have a really good Earth card, so I don't really need to do that. Let's take. Uh, let's take Ice Hammer, I guess, because it's a better Ice card than my current one, I think. So we'll do that. It's kind of nice that you can switch jobs so readily in this game. Fire, dude. Well, I want to take him out with some icy type magic if I can. That'll work too. Ooh, these are new guys. I bet they're wind elements. What do you think? Yep, wind elements. I'm starting to see the color organizations. Okay, so since they're wind elements, I don't need more wind off of them. So we'll hit them with that. I think I can't break through this armor. Already put his armor back up. That's not good. Okay, put wind armor on again. I, I can hit him with just the ice instead. That's it. So that means I can hit this guy with earth, which is uh, the opposite of wind. There's more damage that way. Oh no, his ultimate's maxed up. I don't want that to happen. Let's seal myself. No in hope. Place. <laughs> I gotta be able to this, right? Yeah, okay. This looks like the uh, first fight over again. Okay, let's see if I'm with Earth first. See if I can break through most of that armor and then hit him with water to try to finish him off. Which worked! Oh, look, it's a Treant. That's right out of Final Fantasy XIV Treant. I guess the exact... I, I would almost swear they just took the model and shrank it some. That's how much it looks the same to me. And I played a ton of Final Fantasy XIV. Slice and dice! Okay, we're gonna put the wind armor on real quick. And we're gonna hit him with some earth again. Yeah. 
Nicely done. It's so weird that his blades are on his back. Wouldn't you think he would put him on his hip? I wonder if they just were like, eh, it's just cheaper if we just make one animation. And like all the weapons are on the back now. Okay, so this is a wind ability card. And let's see. This is another thing I noticed earlier is some of the cards will max. So like some the stats that they start off with and how strong they can get is one thing, but I also noticed some cards have like a different level of max for not just for the card's ability, um, but also for seeds that they can unlock and for the number of ability unlocks that they have. So it can actually the ability will do more damage each time it maxes that out. So I've noticed that's really good too, because a lot of the early ones only have two. So let's see. Pretty good, 160 and 100. Probably the kind of card that I would want to have after I've got a couple of them and I can like put them in there, you know? Like after I can max it a couple times. It'll be a good switch into card. Getting Dark Crystals is nice, but I don't have anything that uses Dark yet, so... Alright, so, let's see. Got my Switch done, so I guess I gotta go back. We've already established I can't just hop over to the next thing, I gotta go back through the fights again. It's fine. Fire boss means I can go back to my warrior. I know I'm not using Mage, like at all. You'll have to forgive me. I just, I don't use it. Um, it's not very strong right now. Could be. I can make it stronger in time, but right now my strengths are in Warrior and Ranger. So that's what I'm playing. And look, I got Cactars in it. Keep up the fight. Thanks. I was... <laughs> I thought it was his turn. I didn't realize he wasn't doing anything. Okay, we got one fire guy. Um, we're gonna change target to the water dude. And I'm gonna hit him with my fire ability. To get rid of all that fire that I have. It won't hurt the fire guy very much, but it will waste that water dude. totally use that earth ability but I'd rather save the earth ability for the wind dude over there which is gonna be my next target because of that and we'll just go ahead and use fire again to clear everything off I know it won't do much to this guy but yeah
Okay, and since the only guy left is fire guy, I'm gonna turn on fire shield. Was actually a little bit difficult. Not terribly difficult, but a little bit difficult. Best hunter. You see, he can only level up to two, but that tree can level up four times on that. And he can only max level to eight. So this is a lower and general level card than the other one. See, I'm starting to figure this stuff out. The more cards I get, the more I'm starting to recognize things like that. Alright. The sure squad sided. Don't know the infinity. We'll just go with this. It's fine. I'm thinking I might take the sea brand because that thing does some sick freaking damage. Like, incredibly sick damage. Fatal Blizzard. You know what? I'm going to take the sea card. It does a ton of damage. Wow, I'm taking those guys down with one shot now. Pretty good. I'm definitely getting a lot stronger from this. It's been a timely experience, but it has been a well worthwhile experience. I'm getting a lot out of it. There's no doubt. I was a little scared at the very beginning, that if you guys were watching that very first fight, very much like, I don't think I'm leveled enough to do this, but since then I've been okay. And we are getting a lot stronger as we go. These guys from Final Fantasy VII, they're actually difficult. Like, they've actually been giving me some trouble, but outside of that, it seems to be okay. I'm not terribly out of, like, I'm not dying or anything from too much. And, you know, I think the only reason that very first fight was so hard was because it was three or four rounds of these, uh, these guys that can heal themselves and have really pretty solid armor resistance. So... Okay. Two fire and one earth means I need to use fire shield. Because I'm not going to get much out of that. Okay, watch this to see man. Bam! Oh, that is so much damage! That is so great! I wish I had that card for real. I'm gonna assume that was a event on the before the game came to Steam. But I was so jealous of it. I wish I had that card. It just does so much damage. Okay, doing Earth on him is gonna be worthless, so we'll put Earth up on Shield instead. See, hopefully it's a clear hit out too. Are you up for some more? Great card. I'm so jealous of that card. I wish I had that card. I hope some of those events come back. You know what I mean? Like the ones that they've already done that obviously people playing Steam wouldn't have been able to do because Steam it just came out on Steam. So this should be the first event thing can do is this Final Fantasy VII event. 
sure your squad sighted again. Don't have an affinity, so we'll just keep going with the warrior. We'll do haste. Or earth sword. Well, I will do haste. that I can take these guys down in one shot now. Time to die. Did not used to be able to? Can totally do it now though. These are the harder guys. Alright, two ice guys, which means I can just go ahead and use my water shards or orbs. I keep saying shards, I don't know why. I'm trying to think what it is what game uses shard that makes in I mean, maybe no I don't know nothing's coming to mind so I don't know on him now because it's going to be worthless on the other guy. How dare you slow me after I hasted myself. I will miss you for that. What you when you win? I'm cute all the time. What you talking about? Okay, so see that card's already maxed out at level eight. So I should probably start looking at another another water card to start using because that one's maxed. Oh snap, now I gotta choose, huh? There's a boss here. Hmm. There's a boss there, which would suggest to me that that's the way I would eventually want to go. Sorting room seems to just have this one thing, so we're gonna go to sorting room first. Wind boss sighted. I don't have wind on this, so we'll use ranger. Iron Giant Earth Cross. This is Ray of Hope restores HP. I already have a hope thing though, so Um we would go with the Wind Boss, so I'm gonna want Earth on it. Those two. Even though I already have an Earth card, but whatever it's fine. Like when I know it's going to be a wind boss, for example, I want to take my wind. Um, I can't talk. About it. I want to take my ranger because he can use wind to guard with. See, and that's important. But also because now the ranger's got the ability for higher wind resist, which means that that will, in general, take less damage from the wind guys. So. Seems like a good idea to me. Another round of this, okay.
Wow. That card was amazing. I wish I had saved that for this round. Oh well, I'll be fine. Not that big of a <coughs> So this guy does ice, so let's go ahead and burn my ice off. I'm not gonna need it anyway. Ooh, look at him, he's got that big old crown on his head. He must be somebody cool. Okay, so that's two big wind guys, so I'm gonna use my wind shield. Yeah. Oh, and I am glad I used the wind shield. Wow. So I have to put the windshield back on again. Looks like it got used up. Give me some earth, man. Beating, I what. Mildly strong. It's fun. Beating good opponents is fun. Like, that's the one part about this game that I'm really enjoying. It's like, there's just enough strategy in it that I feel like I'm actually, like, accomplishing something. Finally got the fire wisp. Nice. Abyssian Buster. Let's see how strong he is. Max up to four. Wow, he starts off with 442.20. Wow. He's going to be real strong. It's going to take a while to get him leveled up, though, because, like, you got to have other of him really kind of to... Well, maybe you don't. Maybe you can level him off of other cards. But still, it'll take a while to level him, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I'm going to follow that because that was... Ooh. Alright, man. So that's the sorting room. I guess we'll, we're done with that. Maybe on the next episode we'll go up to the cargo route up here. Whatever this is going on up here. We'll see what goes... Maybe it switches that way. I don't know. We'll find out. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.